Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, Lilith. I fancy some Sakura tea. Want to go with the, to the romance festival with me? Love, Claire. No, that is really weird. Hey, guys. Welcome back to a new episode of The Sims 4 and a return to what is probably one of my favorite series that we've ever done on Sims 4, which is Sims 4 Broken Dream. It also has my favorite intro music, so hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. Broken Dream is now in Oasis Springs, of course, because Max has moved out here and little Emma has moved in with him with Lily Bear and with little Vic Rooney. So that is what we're going to be playing today. If you guys are excited for the return of Broken Dream, let me know in the comments below. Let me know by liking this video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never Never miss an episode and guys i'm excited to play say this and play this let's play some sims 4 broken dream so guys here we are back in the little oh my gosh do you see do you see emma like appear move and then disappear completely and we have a little bit of a crisis as soon as we get there because lily bear i want to make friends with someone but they don't really seem to want to be friends with me how can i make them my friend um, you can't force friendship, I guess, is probably the right way to say it. I mean, you could keep trying, but you can't force it. And here we are back in the little broken dream home. Back with the little Maxikins, who you guys love a lot. And I don't think I realized just how much I liked until we broke up with him. We even made a new Sim, Jay, who's definitely more like my kind of a Sim. And even so, we still could not resist the lure of Maxikins. Max, who is meant to be at work right now. Max, can you go ahead and go to work? However, I do think we need to find him a new career today, potentially. <gasps> he has like a golden heart above his head. I think that's because his aspiration is the soulmate aspiration, you guys. <gasps> and Vixie is hungry. Lily Bear, please, can you look after your little... There's no reason for Vixie to be hungry. Vixie, can you not see what I can see? And in fact, it is actually 2 a.m. in the morning. So can everybody please kind of get to their respective beds? That would be great. Poor little Max does have to work late. But, you know, the rest of you don't have to. So I'm going to get everybody to go to sleep. And then the other thing I can actually do is... This might actually relinquish them from work maybe forever. Uh, but Lily, uh, not Lily Bear, sorry. Uh, Emma has, how much have we got? I'm going to pop these on here. These are our two cards. <gasps> and then I think I just need to sell them. Is that how it works? Oh, <gasps> oh wait, no, that's not right. These are meant to be for 150,000 pounds. Do I have to buy a cash machine and cash them in? I don't know how this works. I'm going to buy the ATM just in case that is what I'm supposed to do. But I have no idea how these are cashed in. But literally, we have £300,000, which is Max's backdated child support. And I think we can quite safely say he definitely overpaid his child support massively. But I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. I'm going to pop them. Oh, I can sell them here. Okay. This is how I sell them. £150,000? This item cannot be sold or deleted. One of them isn't working, you guys. One of them works fine. The other one doesn't work, which is really weird. That is weird. I can't, I can't do anything with this particular card. Oh, that's super annoying, you guys. I'm going to give it to Libba and see if she is able to sell it. Oh, one of the cards is glitched. It's meant to be worth £150,000, but it's not. Oh, guys, what on earth? I can only sell it for £18,000, which is really weird. So I will just keep a hold of it for now. I don't really think we actually need it quite yet because, you know, we have a lot of money, you guys. The oh no, why is his hair gone grey for sleep? And also, why have they had an embarrassing moment? I think one of them has walked on the other one peeing. Just go to bed, okay? You've all got school and sleep and stuff that you need to be going ahead and doing. So, in the last episode of In the Suburbs, we aged up Connor into the hype beast that he is. So I'm kind of thinking we should probably age up uh, this little one here. In today's episode, I don't know why his hair has gone grey. He kind of suits it though. It actually looks kind of cool. Because I want him and Max to kind of stay like a similar age. So I will age him up in today's episode. I'm tempted to do it earlier in the episode rather than later. I don't want the ATM just in the house. That's really annoying. <laughs> Gonna get rid of that. Because I kind of want to see him and... Um, Little Connor being like teen little heartbreakers together. 
I love their little friendship. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look who it is. You guys were desperate to know who he was in a relationship with. I can't, like, it won't let me actually go and say hello to him. All I can do is show off his pet. Okay, I'm gonna do something that I wouldn't usually do. I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily go into the Jones family so that we can see who Zach's girlfriend actually is. A little reminder of Zach. He is currently still a teen. I didn't put full cast edit on, so I can't change him. He's a cute sim though. Like, I have a lot of time for Zach. I have a lot of time for Zach. I'm obviously not gonna do any changes. We're just gonna do it so we can see who his girlfriend is and figure out why he was rejecting Charlie Rose's advances this whole time. I didn't expect Broken Dreams to be the series that we figured this one out, but there you go. Okay, oh my gosh! Look who else it is! We finally, finally bumped into somebody that I think Lilith is gonna have a lot of time for. And oh my gosh, do you remember over there? That was the girl that Emma kind of thought she would have some competition for with Max, who's still a teen as well. Definitely needs aging up a little bit. But it turns out Max only ever had eyes for her. Okay, so this is um, Jay and uh, Zach's little sister, Cecilia who is super, super cute. I kind of thought that maybe um, Connor would end up meeting her at school and that they could go ahead and like, cause she's pretty, she's a very pretty cute girl. I may have to age her up into a teen as well, but we need to go on his love interests. His boyfriend is actually a guy called Thomas, F Thomas Fernandez. They are soulmates and they are boyfriends and they are neighbors. So he's obviously met somebody in the city, in the apartment building those guys all live in. And his boy is actually Thomas. I was hoping I could like invite him around, but I think because they're going to school, they can't. But there you go, you guys, Thomas Fernandez. It was not a girlfriend all along that was stopping him from, uh, stopping him from seeing any interest in Charlie Rose. It was one, that he potentially had a boyfriend at the time. And two, the maybe Charlie Rose was never gonna be his type, you guys. So there we go. Zach is actually in a relationship with Thomas. And that, now I'm gonna, oh, I want this guy to stay. I really want Lily Bear to be able to meet him. So I need to go, I need to go ahead. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get back into the house and back into Lilith? Where is she? Is she in bed? I don't know how to get back into the broken dream household. Lilith, where are you, my love? Are you already at school? This is the only way you can spy into the house. If you uh, accidentally, well, if you go to another family and the house is locked, this is the only way to get in. I need to get, oh, okay, Emma is there. I'm gonna have to stop him going to school and I'm gonna have to go ahead and get him to knock on the door so that we can go back to our broken dream household. Ryland, Ryland, please don't go too far, okay? Oh, guys, I don't think we're gonna be able to meet Ryland, which sucks. Okay, pause, pause, pause. We'll go ahead and we'll switch back to being Emma. And actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna sort out some of the hairstyles. I don't know why they do it, but they do change color all the time and it's really really annoying so he should be back to being black haired now if you remember we always had this with charlie rose when she was a kid her hair would always go pink and stuff and it was really annoying <gasps> okay lily bear is actually at school so even if she was here we wouldn't get her to meet Ryland. but also he's gone you guys okay why don't instead we know he's at school Make some friends, Lilith. I'm desperate for her to meet him. I'm actually desperate for her to meet him. They're both still embarrassed about their awkward incident. Guys, your brother and sister. It's not that awkward. Calm down. And oh my gosh, of course, Zuck is just going to be hanging around the house now because we got him to knock on the door, which is kind of awkward. And little Emma. Emma is just home alone. These are like the eaves of the house. You can't build into them. But I kind of think Vixie is a little bit gross. So I'm going to go ahead and give Vixie a bath. Emma, who still is always playing with her little toys. <laughs> Weird. Okay, Abel has met Evie while she was at school and Max is home as well. Who is Evie? It's like Evie. Oh, she's cute. It's influx in the school with loads of like, uh, loads of new people, which I like a lot. Little Maxi Bear is home. Why don't you come and sweep, sweep Emma off her feet with a beautiful kiss. So if you guys remember, because Max completed his like evil aspiration, we did change him, we removed his evil trait. 
Oh. And we gave him the soulmate uh, aspiration oh, as well. Life oh, aspiration. Oh, and now Max is good. So good seems are happy when others around them are happy and they seek to improve the world. Just the complete opposite to where little Max was before. I'm going to send him to bed because he works nights. He's going to be super, super sleepy. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop him into bed there. And if you guys also remember the way that Max returned to being good was because uh, Elsa died. <laughs> he had to witness her death to be good. Um, Zach, what's going on here? Why are you following him in there? That's what you're doing. What? <laughs> Zach, what are you doing? I think it's time for you to go now, potentially, okay? Bye. And it gives us a little cutie bean here. A little bit of time to sleep. He's had a rough day working nights. And he's now like, I have 184,000 pounds. Really? I never need to work again. And these guys are just at home. She just made herself some little uh, BLT sandwich. And Zach has like laid the table. And now they're having a chit chat. Like, what is even going on? They've got like some secret handshake. Like, you need, Zach, you need to go. It's kind of weird that you're still here. I mean, they're getting on great. They're having a lovely chat with each other. But I feel like you need to go to school, Zach, you know? So, bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Zach. Guys, he's still here. Gerba. He's still Marble. here. He's like, why? Why are you not cooking food for me? What's going on? Please tell me you're leaving now. You're great, but <laughs> it's just a little bit odd, okay? Oh my gosh. Look who just went by. She kind of did the hand thing, but little Salma Rooney still keeping up with the jogging that we've been sending her on. I'm impressed with that. <gasps> oh my gosh. She wants to get married with Tamax. I'm being mischievous to Roxy, which is a little bit mean. But still, she wants to get married to Max, you guys. How cute is that? They were never married, you know. Max and Emma literally never got married. So this could be the chance. For now, though, she's she's been good pet mama <laughs> and taking little Vixie, who I don't think has ever been leashed before in her life. So it's probably kind of feeling a little bit confused by the whole thing. She's going to go ahead and take her on a short walk. When Lily Bear goes adventuring with her, she, he, she doesn't leash her. She's like, you're a fox. You don't need leashing. So this is going to be an interesting little experience for Vixavu. Oh my gosh. Emma just got a text from Jay. Said, Emma, it's Jay. Do you want to hang out tonight at the nightclub? No, Jay. That's not happening anymore, okay? That's in the past now. We are in the past. Oh my gosh, look at Vixie seeming like she's not really enjoying- Oh no, she is enjoying the walk, you guys. Look at her. With her little head held high and her little pink collar on. How actually cute does she look going on her little walk? I love that. Well done, Emma. Lilith should be doing more of that. Lilith, who was still, still not met Ryland at school, you guys. I wonder if he'll walk by here regularly. Oh, look who else is walking by. Hello, Connor. Hello, little Connor Rooney and your little Supreme. Why are you not at school? Oh, teenagers finish school early, don't they? Oh, no, wait, that doesn't make sense or else Lilith would be out of school. Oh, my God. Hi, Emma, it's Jay. Do you want to hang out tonight? He won't leave her alone, you guys. And oh, my gosh, Lilith is getting a call from the principal because her school Lara, performance is so bad. She is poor. Since she's on a B, but she's doing poorly at school. Probably because she spent the whole day trying to make friends with people Is rather than doing her work. And this little one has got a chemical reaction volcano that he needs to work on. Why don't you go ahead? We've got a nice garden with a pool in it and everything. Why don't you go and set that up outside there? Oh, it won't fit. It's, it's quite a big school project. Maybe put it here and then you can start working on that and then maybe Max and Emma can help you out. Oh my gosh, the lift says her school performance is pretty shaky. She's not careful, she could drop a grade. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see if Rylan is available to uh, socialize with online. Sometimes you can meet new people. No, there's literally, oh my gosh. She really doesn't like Jay. That would have been bad if Emma and Jay had moved forward because she really does not like him. Wow. I wonder if there's like a, a teen hangout spot. I'm noticing the same people keep walking by. So you never know. We may see him again. I'll keep my eye on this street here. In the meantime, missus, I think you should be doing your homework because your school performance is absolute trash. The thing is, I don't even know where she's hiding her homework. So I can't even get her to do it. I'm a little bit worried that she's potentially left it at the dream house. Max is still sleeping at 4 p.m. by the way. So like, how can I ever get her to do her homework? Oh. Be careful with the yeah. making things and the fire, okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Lilith has managed to get on fire. Are you actually kidding me? We're not going down this road again. Why did she just leave the grilled cheese sandwich? Oh my gosh. The thing is, Lilith should be really good at putting out fires. Like, the, this thing to extinguish the fire, okay? You've extinguished like your brother and your father before. 
I feel like if anyone has got this, it's Lilith the Firebreaker. The Fire Peralta. Lilith Fireheart. Oh my gosh. Have we actually got sprinklers in this house? We've got fire alarm. Okay, I think she's put it out, you guys. That is not a nice way for poor Max to wake up, is it? Wow. At least we got a little bit of insurance money and I've replaced those bits. Literally, right before that was happening, I was just thinking, it's, a, it's like a nice way for these guys to sort of bond together. But she's feeling really tense because of the fire now. But still, you know, Emma's not his mum. So she's got this kind of stepmom relationship with them. Not even that yet because her and Max aren't married. So she needs to make sure that she's kind of cultivating a nice relationship with Abel. Because she is kind of stepping into a role that I think he's going to be pretty messed up about. And I think it's going to affect the traits that we give him when he ages up. I've downloaded some stuff specifically for that, so keep a little eye out. I'm keeping, keeping an eye, you guys. I am keeping, keeping an eye. I've not seen any, any sign of the right lens yet. Oh my gosh, we've just kind of left Vixie on a road in the neighborhood. Not too far. Oh my gosh, look, 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 look. That is little Faith, and then that is Jay's little sister. I told you she was a cutie pie. I told you she was gonna be a little heartbreaker one day. Maybe even break on his heart if he's not careful. Look, she is a bonny little one. And oh my gosh, look who else is there. I feel like these three have an adorable little friendship together because little Ryder is there too. How sweet is that? Oh my gosh, perfect picture moment there, but I missed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Abel finished his project, school project quickly and he's got extra credit. Thanks, Emma. Which one was it? It was the volcano one. Okay, let's go ahead and put it up in his room. There we go. He's got, I've put it on a little crate for him and he's got his little school project in his room there. Oh my gosh, I want to see what the chemical reaction is. He's tense. He's having a chit chat. Oh, he wants to ask for some advice off his dad as well. Well, once you've done that, I want to see this chemical reaction in action, okay? Oh my gosh, Lilith's playing Sims forever. Not smart enough. Oh, you're doing well in school. He thinks he's not smart enough. I think we ask him to focus on different topics. Because you can never be good at, like, you're never going to be good at anything. Find what you're good at and focus on that. And then start the chemical reaction, okay? Oh, not you, Lilith. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can just start it as the player. How cool is that? That's really cool. You never kind of have, like, uh, science fairs and stuff in UK schools. So this stuff's all, like, cool and new to me. Well done, little, little... I was gonna call him Little Max. He is a Little Max, to be fair. Oh my god, Vixie's still out and about. <laughs> and she's got a little present for us, but it's, that like, all the way over here. Lilith, I think you need to go and, like, claim your pet and bring him back home. Her back home. Okay, pick her up. Poor little thing. She's been out here on her own for ages, Lilith. So we've got little Vixie in our arms. And then we need to bring her back home. She's not too far away from home, but still, I don't want anything to happen to her. Put Vixie down there, okay? Oh my gosh, she's off. She's running. She's running back with that Vixie pair. Look at her carrying her. How cute is that? Vixie's just looking up at her like, I love you. Max is still feeling kind of super tense about the whole fire thing. So good old Emma's giving him a little massage. I don't know why Lilith's around for this. Oh my gosh, and Abel's around for it as well. Kind of weird. Oh look, and now they're not now they're not stressed anymore. It has actually worked. He wants to ask Emma about her day as well. Why don't you like get out of your kids' room? You guys go and go and sit on the bed and have a little chit chat, okay? Maybe put Abel to bed first. And then these guys are just hanging out, asking about each other's day. Have a little chit chat. Max luckily doesn't have work for two days. But I just like these two being in like a much nicer, although Emma looks kind of mad. <laughs> she does look a little bit mad. But I'm just enjoying these two being in an actual healthy relationship for a change. Oh, and look, he, got his, he was happy to ask her about her day. She is still a little bit stressed about the whole fire situation though. Max, why don't you try and calm her down a bit with a nice little, nice little massage like she gave you. That seems to do with the trick. Oh, there we go. That sorted her out. Look, it's actually, she was stressed for 18 hours. Oh no, sh she's still stressed for 18 hours. But at least she's flirty now too. <laughs> They're both flirty now actually. Okay, I'm kind of scared to do this in case there's a chance of a baby after Kira, but I have reduced my risky woo-boos down from 5% to 3%. Max, can you not play Sims forever? Well, poor Lily Bear's in bed, okay? But I'm gonna get these guys to woo and just fingers crossed that it doesn't result in a pregnancy. I don't think they need- they've got two kids already. I don't think that they need another kid, you guys. So we just gotta be careful. I think there is the option to go on birth, con birth control. So I may, ex I may explore that opportunity tomorrow because I feel like we kind of need it. Billy Bear's dressed in that extra second outfit we gave her today with those really cool trousers. 
And with a little hair down. I kind of wanted to bunk off school today, but her performance is so bad that I just don't think it's a good idea. Okay, Lily Bear's gone to school. I'm gonna make her study hard for the first half of the day and then make friends for the second half of the day because her school performance is really bad. Emma's still tense about this fire. She's gone to work as well. I'm gonna go make her work hard. The thing is, they don't really need to work at all. They have 200,000 pounds and they actually have another 100,000 pounds at the dream house that they didn't take out because they didn't want to just bankrupt everyone. So really, they have enough money to buy the dream house outright off Emily and Taylor. And I don't know if Emily and Taylor earn enough to pay the bills. <gasps> oh my gosh, a Abel is almost done when he, he realizes he skipped the bubble near the top on his test. All his answers are one off. Oh my gosh. Ter confess your mistake, okay? He got a, a small performance game from admitting his error. So he's actually doing okay in school, but he's still a C student. And now that Lilith gets pretty good grades, are you joking? She's garbage. <laughs> Some bullies have been picking on her. Confront them. If bullies responded to well-crafted argument, they wouldn't be bullies. They don't, they understand that they're being insulted, but they just don't understand how, and that just makes them even madder. Oh, poor little um, Lilith is getting bullied at school. Are you joking me? She's so cool. Maybe it's because she's like a little bit alternative, which leaves just poor little Max at home by himself. I'm kind of thinking, you know, that Emma, Emma and Max should buy the dream, hof, dream house off Emily and Taylor, and then that that should be their house. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below. But I just don't know if they'd be able to, to afford that house on their own as it is now. They just don't own enough money. Whereas these guys, if they get that 100,000 pound back from the dream house, they literally have 300,000 pounds. They don't really ever need to work again if they don't want to. Max just became friends with Vixie. He's on his day off at home on his own. So he's kind of just hanging out with little Vixie Rooney and I think he's actually gonna go take her on a walk in a moment as well. Max has got quite a buff body. You never really see him working out, but he must be doing something right, guys. Look at that. He's got a little six pack and everything. And he's very hairless. Very hairless. Max, I hope you're gonna get dressed before you go to walk. You can't go out walking like that, okay? There you go. Thank God for that. Emma wouldn't be keeping that under lock and key. She doesn't want all the girls in the neighborhood to be seeing what he looks like underneath his jumper. Okay, I'm switching Lily Bear over to make friends and I'm gonna make sure that Abel is working hard. Should Abel invite over classmate Evie? You definitely can do, and Lilith's getting a call. The principal is calling again. She, oh my gosh, her performance is still really poor. I think it's because of her homework, but I can't find her homework to actually do. So it's just gonna keep dropping and dropping. What am I gonna do, you guys? I can't just like generate her homework. Okay, I looked online and apparently you can buy homework from a bookcase. Do we have a bookcase anywhere? Kind of bad if we don't. Okay, we do have a bookcase. So I can get her to purchase a book. Can I get, is there a homework option? <gasps> Grade school homework. Okay, so she needs high school homework. Homework, oh my gosh, you can actually buy one. Wow, so is that like in her inventory now? <gasps> she can do her homework and not only that, but I can buy grade school homework for Abel. Oh my gosh, there you go, you guys. If you ever can't find the homework, you can just buy it. That is so clever. So she's in a focus mood, which is perfect for going ahead and doing her homework. <gasps> and this is little Evie, who Abel has brought home. Oh my gosh, you got to let her inside, Abel, okay? Let's have a little look at Evie. How funny that she's called Evie. Oh, she's a cutie pie. She is a little sweetie pie. She's a bit sad though, so why don't you go and try and brighten her day and make her feel happy, okay? Don't tease her about face. Never do that to a girl, okay? Forget the homework for now. It's the weekend. You don't need to do it straight away. Max is still walking little Vixie there. And yet again, there is still no sign at all of the Ryland. I think it was just a pure fluke that he was walking by you guys. So this is quite cool because they've got that playground that's like literally right in the corner of their street. Abel and uh, Evie are off- He sounds so weird saying that. <laughs> They're off to go play it together. And oh my gosh, it's like a kid hangout spot. So we're gonna be seeing these guys there all the time, which I actually love so much. Maybe I can get them all in a group together. And they can, he can play with his cousins as well. Although they're not technically his cousins yet, not unless they get married. Okay, so I've added both of these guys to the group. Now we can all play on the Space Explorer together. Although they're all just kind of staring at him playing. Evie's off. Evie's like, I don't like the Space Explorer. Why are you not playing on the Space Explorer together, guys? That was the whole point. <laughs> Lilith's been a good kid at home in a nice room doing her homework. But she's all finished for the night now. 
She needs someone to call her up with something fun happening. I don't know if there's a teen hangout spot that she can like go and go and figure out. I'm gonna see if there is like a teen spot. I don't know any, but I'm gonna give it a go. There is a rattlesnake juice bar, which I could make a teen hangout. I'm kind of thinking I do that instead. Okay, forget traveling for now. Let's go ahead and edit the world and we'll make a teen hangout spot because I want somewhere for my teens to go, you know? And they have the coffee shop in Windenburg, but they don't have anywhere here. And there's a kid spot. So there needs to be a teenager spot too. Okay, so this rattlesnake juice bar, I'm gonna say is, oh my gosh, that's why they go for their single nights. I'm gonna say it's the kind of place where they, they're a bit easy on the IDs, you know? So that's why the teenagers want to go there. Is there a thing for teens? Surely there is. Teen neighborhood, okay. So we've got teen neighborhood. I'm gonna make it a romantic place because you know, it's loads of teens going. And they're gonna make it a party place as well. So it's a pretty fun place to go when you're a teenager. I wish there was like an anti-adults thing. So the adults did not go there. Coming in and spoiling the fun. Okay, so it's a Friday night. It's probably Lily Bear's last, last time to be the only teen in the house. So I am gonna get her to go ahead and try out this new teen place. <gasps> Charlie Rose is running by. She's keeping up with her jogging too. I love this. My sims have been so healthy. Okay, let's see if there's any teens for her to come and hang out with. I actually don't know who... Oh, I do know who Liv's friend is. She should have got her girlfriend to go there. I'm gonna give her a call. Fatima. Let's make sure she comes as well. We've actually not seen Fatima in ages. So the first thing I'm gonna go and do is give her a call. And then is there teenagers hanging out here? You don't look like a teenager. You're an elder. You're an adult. A young adult. There's no teenagers yet, you guys. At least Fatima is gonna come over and we've got somebody. I what about can't. you? You're a, I think you're an adult as well. Where's my teens Super at? It's meant to be a teen oh. hangout. Well, since they're lax on their IDs, and since we are super rich, I'm gonna get <laughs> the two of them to have the most expensive cocktail on the menu. It's a nice chance for these guys to catch up as well. And since Lily Bear's actually changed out of her uh, regular outfit, they don't look identical to each other for once. So, you know, that's nice. That is nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. Still no teenagers here. And it's ladies night. The perfect time to have a girls night without breaking the bank. At least they'll be able to order their drinks a little bit more cheaply, but it's not saying a lot about actually meeting people here, is it? Okay, so there's loads of people coming to hang out, but yet again, they're, they're all adults. This is meant to be a teen place. What are you freaks doing? This has not worked out for me for the whole teen thing. Also, it's all girls because it's like a ladies night thing. So this is not the place where she's going to go and meet her island, is it? Definitely not. Not, but look at them as little teenagers able to go into a bar and drink alcohol because this place is cheeky on the IDs. Oh, why is she having a little cry? I think she's whining about her unfair life. Your life's really not that unfair. And she's learned that Fatima is a genius. I just hope she's not an evil genius like um, Max used to be. Okay, so I can do a friendly um, ask to stay the night. So these guys are going to have a little sleepover together. And then the fact that it's uh, singles night is probably really messed up our plans to be honest i think they might need to find someplace else to hang out sorry not singles night ladies night if it was singles night that would be perfect but this is just loads of old women this is not the place where they want to be i think i'm gonna have to get them to go travel someplace else there is either the coffee shop or the nightclub it's late on a friday night i say we try out the nightclub although doesn't the ruins sometimes turn into a nightclub here but I don't think it's like every time. I think it's just once every now and again. These cheekies, teenagers, going out, drinking, nightclubbing. Okay, they're both looking really cool though. I love the way they both dress. I think they're both so cool. Oh my gosh, but this nightclub looks pretty dead out as well, to be honest. I'm gonna at least get some drinks in. The drinks here are not as good as the drinks at the other place. We're gonna get the sea of fire, okay? Max's brother is here. He turns up everywhere. But he's just kind of blah, isn't he? <laughs> it's kind of blah. Oh my gosh, it's that Brant guy. Do you remember him from the last episode of Cats and Dogs? No, the last, the episode before the last one. He's kind of quite a cool sort of guy. Oh my gosh, Anthony is here. <gasps> Jay is here. Oh my gosh, Jay is here and look how much she doesn't like him. I don't know what happened between those two to make them like hate each other so much. And Charlie Rose is here. It's nice for seeing my Sims. It's not so nice for seeing like other Sims. This guy did come over to chat with them then. I think she should talk up Fatima to this guy. That's the kind of stuff you do if you are like out with your friends. Okay, she's gonna talk up Fatima to him. 
and see what he makes of her. You can imagine them doing that, being like, oh my gosh, this guy's come over and talked. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go tell him how great you are so he comes and talks to you. And Fatima's like, Lilith, no, don't do that. Wow, I'd love to get to know her. She's like giggling away. And now they're chit-chatting with each other and Lilith's just like, I did this. This was on me. Fatima is great. Ooh, he likes her. Oh my God, I can ask Fatima to try and hook up with him. This is a little bit cheeky. You can tell Lilith's a little bit mischievous. She gets up to no good. Oh my gosh, I don't know how this is gonna play out. I've never asked Sims to do this before. What is gonna happen here? He's just dancing away. She looks so like teen and nervous. And she's like, ah, she's kind of chickened out. Why didn't you tell me he was already in a relationship? Oh my gosh, Lilith. That is savage. That is actually savage. Oh my gosh, Kira has turned up now too. Everybody's here. Oh, look, it's little Max's sister is here too. Which means that's her aunt. She should probably go and introduce Tomorrow, herself to him. Mean? To her. She's feeling pretty hyped at the moment. <laughs> They're all like getting hyped to the music. No Ryland, you guys. This is nice though, because she's actually got to like meet her aunt a little bit and say hello. Luna, Aunt Luna. Look, she's so cheeky. She wants to do all this like naughty stuff to her, like tease her and be mean to her. You're not gonna do that, okay? On the tip, she's showing us some pictures. Maybe of like her dad and the family in the house. Oh, that's so cute. She's hanging out with her aunt. This guy has come back over. Oh my gosh, I think Fatima might have had too much to drink. <laughs> she's having a little sleep inside the club. Oh my gosh, and she's having a flirty chat with this Brant guy. Lilith Savage, like, I think if anyone could break apart Jamie Street, it's gonna be Lilith. Oh my gosh, like, now Fatima is chatting with Jay because she's drunk. And even Anthony is like, what are you guys doing? What are you even doing? That's your best friend's mum's ex-boyfriend. This town is clearly too small. Clearly too small. Oh, Jay is great, Fatima said. That's her doing, that's why. Why is Lilith so savage? Okay, I think it's time for these guys to go home. It's like nearly 3 a.m. Actually, there you go, Fatima. You guys need to head home, okay? I thought for a minute Fatima had kind of dropped her. I think, I still think maybe she has. But she still, you guys, has not managed to meet Ryland. Still. No, look, Fatima's dropped her. She's like, I don't know what games you're playing tonight, Lilith, but I'm not interested. She's back home. She's literally still in, like, the heartbeats. <laughs> The music picture him in a mood for love. Oh my gosh. That's why everybody was being so flirty with each other. Okay, you need to get home and get to bed. I don't know why these freaks are all not in bed too because I want to do little Abel's birthday tomorrow. So can everybody please just go ahead and get to bed? Oh my God, it's because everybody's so hungry. Okay, get your leftovers and then get to bed. It's time for Abel's birthday today. And it also means we can get everybody around to the house. I haven't kicked Jay out of the group yet, which is a little bit annoying. But these guys just have a little bit of a breakfast together. Abel is having a little bit of a sleep. And I'm looking forward to him being able to hang out with Connor again. Because at the moment, it's kind of weird because he's so young and Connor's so old. But they'll be back on track again soon. And then Lilith's back being good friends with Fatima. Even if she did kind of encourage him to get with Brant. Whose spouse is Brent? Brant and Brent. I think they're the two guys that live together in Brindleton Bay. Oh my gosh, okay. So that was definitely a massive, massive error in judgment there. So little Abel is like, why don't you come and grab yourself some food? And Emma, why don't you serve like a big meal for a party people to come around and eat? Why don't we do a gumbo and then you can do an apple pie afterwards, okay? I actually don't know how good at cooking Emma is. Oh, she's eight, she's pretty good. When you've had Sims around for a long time, they start to get quite good at cooking. And Lilith would like to adult now. We'll see what we can do, little Lily Bear. I don't know what her like skills and stuff are like. She's got really good manners. She's got quite good responsibility. She's got shocking emotional control. She's got quite good empathy, but she's really bad at conflict resolution as well. That kind of fits her personality quite well, actually. Okay, so we've got the gumbo. Can we now go ahead and cook the apple pie as well? And then can we get some like music player or something in here so that we can have a little bit more of a party atmosphere? It's quite a small room. Like, th I feel like these guys need more room than they've currently got. They probably do need the dream house or we get them a, a cool new house. Okay, I've got them like this cool player device thing that's hopefully gonna 
Make the music sound really good. You're meant to be cooking an apple pie, little miss. Please don't tell me you finished it already. And Max, can you grab yourself a shower, please? It's nice that you've got in there to go and have a little chit chat with Lily Bear. Lily, if you need to change into your clothes, okay? And now that she's cooking the apple pie, I, in fact, Emma, you need to change into your clothes as well. <laughs> then we will call a group gathering to get everybody around. Okay, she's changed. That's great. I'm going to start the gathering so that everybody comes and starts to hang out. And we'll put some music on as well. Let's listen to... Oh! She she did it straight away. She was already on that. Don't listen to talk radio though. Listen to what is backyard? James is here. James, come in and talk to me, okay? And Connor's here too. Everybody's going into Lilith's room. Apparently, Lilith's room is the cool room to hang out in because everybody's always going there. And Lilith's like making no effort to talk to anyone either. Even though, why is everyone in Lilith's room? I swear, everybody thinks that like Lilith's room is the cool room to hang out in. And this one wants to go and catch up with Connor. It's been a while since I've seen him, and Connor's like, "Yeah, you're really young. I'm not that interested in anything you've got to say." And April's like, "Not as me, okay? Not as me, Fluz." She's still making her little apple pie in there. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. All the girly whirlies were hanging out in here together. I actually love um, Roxy's new outfit. I think it's really cool. Okay, everybody's coming to grab a little bit of gumbo. I don't know what gumbo is, but enjoy. <laughs> in fact, you know what I should have done? I should have invited around some of Abel's little friends as well. And let's invite some of these little girly whirlies to come and hang out as well. But here, at least his best friend Connor is here. <gasps> and they've got the apple pie as well. Look at that. And then Max is baking the chocolate cake for little Abel's birthday. Okay, everyone's going to come and try a little slice of the apple pie. Max, I think you've got cake in the oven. Or at least you should have a cake. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, Lilith, I fancy some Sakura tea. Want to go with the, to the romance festival with me? Love, Claire. No, that is really weird. You don't go to the romance festival with your grandma, and especially not your dead grandma. Claire, me, that's so weird. Okay, this is sometimes really funny about putting candles on. Okay, I can add birthday candles if I put it there, so I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do to make sure that nobody eats it. Could James just casually doing some sips on the floor, as you do, press ups even. So backyard seems to be like quite chilled, nice music, which I like. Oh look, his little friend Evie is here. Go say hello to her. Okay, so he's doing a little, look at Jay's still here. He's doing some nice chit chats with cute little Evie Beavie. Although they are now gonna be different in age, so I might need to age up her as well if you guys want me to do that i think she's really cute i think she's super super cute and i'd quite like to hate her up into an adult at the same time and then abel you need to come over here and blow out your candles okay get cute little jesse in a new outfit i actually love that outfit so much okay abel you must be getting ready to the point why is he... you must be getting to the point where you're gonna blow out your candles soon this is apparently gumbo. I don't quite know what it is. <gasps> okay, I think he's going over to blow out his candles, you guys. <laughs> I can't wait to see how he's going to look as an adult. Although, I'm kind of scared of how they're going to make him look. Let's see their version first. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he kept his hair. <gasps> wow, it's the first time. It's the first time they've actually aged someone up. And they actually look kind of like the way they did before. Well done, game. And look at Taylor with his Fufu Sailor. And look at Connor. Connor's like, yes, I finally get my bro back. Finally, we can go out and hit the town and be like little cats. And little Lilith looks pretty happy about everything. And Charlie Rose. But look at him. He looks so much like um, a cool, hip young Max. Ah! Okay, Abel is aged up. He's currently hot-headed. Uh, I need to give him an overall aspiration for life. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to give him the serial romantic one as well. But I actually think he hasn't had the privileged life Connor has had. He's a little bit more of a complex fellow. A complex fellow. And so I don't really know what to give him. Because I think for his other trait here, I actually downloaded some like teen uh, specific traits. So I think I'm going to change out his hot headed. But the one I know I'm going to give him, and you guys have mentioned this in the comments below, is giving him the PTSD, which is an additional mod that I downloaded specifically for Abel. Because if you think about Abel, he has had to witness his mother burn to death in front of him. And there's no way that's not going to have a lost in impact on him. And Sims with PTSD have a mental disorder that has developed as uh, after being exposed to a traumatic event, like what happened to poor Elsa. Symptoms include disturbing thoughts or feelings, dreams or flashbacks related to the event, mental or physical stress due to triggers, and increased in flight or fight response, emotional issues, and a variety of other symptoms. So I'm going to give him PTSD. I'm going to swap this out for a teen-specific trait. 
The thing I'm gonna give him here, it's kind of tough. I don't really know what to give him. I think for now, I'm just gonna give him the master mixologist thing. I think it's nice to give him a thing to focus on. He wants to make cool drinks, but it's definitely not gonna be his lifetime one. It's just something I'm giving him for the meantime because I want to hear what your guys' feedback is. So it's a holder for the moment. So there we go, Abel has aged up. And you know what? He actually looks super, super cool. I think his haircut is even more aggressive at the side. I'm gonna go ahead now and make sure that we can give him um, all of his skin details and stuff back on. And it also means I'm gonna be able to give him that additional uh, teen trait and take away hot-headed. Okay, so the first thing that I actually need to do with him is his eyes. He actually has the same eyes as uh, Lilith. I'm gonna make sure I get the exact right color. So that it's like this sort of pinky. Actually, no, she has different. She has the half and half eyes, but everybody else has these like um, fully sort of pinky sort of eyes. They're more purple. I need to make sure he gets the right ones. Okay, so I've got him when he was like a little toddler and I wanna make sure he has the same eyes. I'm struggling to find the exact ones, you know. I kind of think it was those ones. Max has brown eyes. It's only all of Max's offspring that get the uh, pinky readiness to their eyes. It's his like little genetic trait. That's how you can tell they're a Mexican. Okay, I think it's those ones. If you guys think it might be a different one, let me know. But if you were any ever in any doubt that Max was like definitely an Asian sim, you can tell it more in his son, I think. Like, you can clearly tell that he is, I don't know what, I don't know exactly what ethnicity he is, but he's not pure white, you know? And I'm kind of tempted to give him the same skin details as Max has got. It's so hard, because I can't quite remember how he looked. I know he was super cute, I know that much. I love his eyebrows. I think he's really handsome. I think that's really pretty, but it's taken away like his natural coloring, which I don't like. Although I do quite like that one on him. That's keeping his natural color, isn't it? I think he's really handsome. I think it looks really good. I quite like that, like, it's it's, it's so generalized and so Asian. I, I don't know really what I mean when I say that, but I kind of know in my head, but I like that look. Okay, I'm just gonna give him some little eyelashes. He, he kind of grew up with earrings on, and I kind of am tempted to keep them, you know? And I can't believe he kept the hair. I think the hair might be slightly different, but I love it. I'm keeping his hair exactly how it is because it looks so good. Oh, I think those eyes are right. I do think those eyes are right. I added a little shine to his nose. I think it looks really good. Because he's wearing like the baseball top. I kind of like the black one more on him though. He's got a little bit of Max's body, really, you know? I like the black one because it, it brings out like his black hair and eyes. I think it's quite cool though. Like I'm happy to leave him with that on, but I do want to change out his trousers, you know? I kind of like that look. What does that say? Young Yun Zoe. I don't know what that means. I think he looks quite cool like that. I want to change out his, tra his little shoeies. I think he's really cool. I think he's super cool. I'm like fangirling over him, literally. Give him a little leather bracelet. I think he looks awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's... Look at, look at Max. And then look at Abel. They're so similar looking. Apart from he's like super pale, isn't he? I guess that's Elsa. But he has a mini Max. Oh my gosh. He is mini Max. In fact, I would actually say he's got more Asian features than Max. I love him. I think he's awesome. I think he's so awesome. I'm so happy in how he's turned out. Okay, let's see what other looks they gave him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's quite a loud formal look. I kind of like the idea that he's a little bit loud though. Maybe not green earring kind of loud. In fact, we could probably switch up his earrings a little bit. Is he kind of going a little bit Lilith style though? I feel like he's not Lilith style. I don't want to go too much into Lilith style. Or like into Ryland category, you know? Could give him some little black ones. I think they look cool. He's so cool. I'm so excited by him. <laughs> no. He can't, if, how much does he pull that off? I don't get how he does it, but he literally pulls that off somehow. I might give him a, a black, a red suit, because I kind of feel like he can. But they're not going up formal too much. His athletic gear, I don't think he can work out in just that. That's a little bit much, you know? Let's at least give you some pants to put on with it. And I don't like the earrings it's gone for for that style. Okay, and then sleepwear. <laughs> what? What on earth is it giving him to sleep in? That's so weird. I'm gonna give him these little sleepy wears. Party wear? No, I don't think so. He kind of pulls that off, actually. He's so cool. <laughs> I quite like the sort of shirt on him, but it does finish quite high up. I also quite like that on him. I kind of like this knitted top. I do you like a good knitted top, you guys? Is it a little bit? It might be a bit much though. Even the game knows he's kind of loud and he kind of wears crazy stuff. I'm gonna go for that because I just think he looks cool. 
I think he's a really cool sim. Look at him. Look at him go. He's awesome. I love him so much. Okay, so there's his little pool look as well. He's kind of like a mixture of like a Lilith sort of look, but also a little bit more of a... I don't know. He's kind of got his own look. He has got his own look. I think he looks so cool. I don't know, you guys. I'm a little bit... He's mini Max, and all the things I liked about Max, I like about him as well. So, this was the other trait that I'm gonna switch out. We're gonna get rid of the hot headed one, because that's what the Lilith's got. But I've got some teen specific traits. So, we've got Living Instrument, where he's gonna be really good at um, instruments, obviously. <laughs> Electric Slide Rule. These Sims don't just want good grades, they love school. I don't think that's gonna be him. Emotional conduit. These sims feel the emotions of other sims around them and try to hide it and try to hide from it by staying busy Which gives them an appearance of confidence. It's kind of quite a complicated one Relentless tease. These sims can't seem to stop flirting. We need to go and give that to Connie you guys Walking punchline. They are always looking for humor and using themselves as a source of humor and then frenzied rebel these sims get angry at the thought of being controlled by anything or anyone. That could definitely be a potential one for him. I think they are all the new teen ones. I think we make him a frenzied rebel. I understand he's got two very volatile traits. So we probably will have to go in. Uh, sorry, I think we'll probably have to just give him a go and see if they're a little bit too much or not. But I've got to say, I'm really liking him. I'm really, really liking him. I think he's really cool. He's got that, he's got that maxi look, but it's slightly different, and it's still really, really cool. And there still must be a little bit of Elsa in him, because he's looking quite different to Max. But I like how, like, Max's ethnicity seems to come out more in Evil than it does in Max. I think it's really cool. Basically, I love him. <laughs> and I hope that you guys do as well. So let's see him in the flesh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Emma, where are you? What have you done? Why are you outside? Clean those up, please. Let's go and have a look at birthday boy Abel. So here is how he looks in the flesh. We thought Connor was like uh, the handsome sim, but I, I, it's all personal preference, isn't it? I'm all about the Abel guys. I think he looks so, so cool. And now we're gonna see like some of his traits. So he's very angry at the moment because he feels trapped inside. <laughs> but luckily, the, he's flicking between the two emotions. He's got a lot of happiness going on, but he's still like, he's still very angry. And I just want him to like, just chit chat with Connor. Oh my gosh, there's too many people. Like, I'm not surprised he's feeling trapped. I'm feeling a little bit trapped just looking at them. I'm hoping that chatting with his old friend Connor is gonna calm him down a little bit. Okay, you guys, so he's having a little chit chat with Connor. These two guys are like, too stylish, too good looking, and too dangerous for their own good. I think maybe the next in the suburbs, we wouldn't give uh, Connor that relentlessly flirty one, but two, get these guys to go and hang out together. Have some fun out on the town. Look at that, Jay tries to talk to them and straight away they both just get up and like, yeah, bye. <laughs> and I'm glad that even though he's got all this PTSD, st PTSD stuff going on and it is kind of, he's struggling a little bit with life. He's at least got like Connor as his best friend. And it seems like they're not going anywhere anytime soon, does it? Look, literally talking about non-commitment and breaking hearts. So guys, let me know what you think about Abel in the comments below. I think he looks absolutely awesome. Like, I think he looks really, really cool. And I can't wait to play a, few, play a few episodes with him. Let me know what you guys think as well. Let me know if you want to change out his clothes. Please let me know what his lifetime aspiration should be. Maybe it's something that we end up figuring out a little bit later on. It doesn't have to be something we find out now because of course we can change it over time. He's also feeling overbearing authority from being near a parent. He's going to be a tough little cookie to look after, isn't he? But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Broken Dream. I am keeping the name as Broken Dream, as you can probably guess, because with a uh, little Abel having PTSD. The broken dream continues, you guys. The curse of this family is not lifted yet, so it's gonna be broken dream for a little while longer. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!